In this video I thought I'd show you how I set up a simple honey pot to attract spammers and then when they send an email to this email address that nobody uses um, our intrusion detection system detects it and then blocks their server for ages. Okay so firstly let me show you um, we've got over 300 websites so I'll just show you one of our pages if you search the whole page you won't find the email because it's hidden within a div so what I did is um, on the bottom of all our websites I automatically put in this email called honeypot at spinning planet so if I view the source of this and I go control F to find honey you'll see right down at the bottom there's an email that's hidden within a um, hidden div and what happens is is the software robots the spamming software robots they're kind of like Google they trawl the internet follow all the links and they try and read emails off web pages and when they find an email they add it to their spam list and that means that um, they'll start sending spam to it so I'll show you how many of them are being caught um, you can see here it's caught over 13,000 servers trying to use that email address it's only been up for about two weeks um, but that's how many spamming servers have gone through and grabbed the email off so the nice thing is is as they're going through all of our clients websites they might be grabbing our clients emails but because they're grabbing honeypot at spinningplanet.co.nz as well then it's blocking any mail coming from their servers which stops a lot of spam going to our clients uh, by the way don't send an email to honeypot at spinningplanet.co.nz or you'll immediately get blocked from the server so um, I'll show you how I do it uh, so firstly um, you've got to stick honeypot or whatever your um, um, email is going to be if you're going to do it on your own website uh, you put it um, on the page and then I'll show you uh, the different rules I'm using so the mail server that we use is called postfix and one of the first things it does is it checks the header so inside the header I've got this little uh, rule that says um, anything that comes in and is addressed to honeypot at spinning planet reject it um, and give it the message identified as spammer now that's fine as that'll just reject them straight off so they can't send to it but then we've also got this other one I don't then we've got our fail to ban rule and that's what this is this is how this is way more powerful because that company could just keep on trying to send even if they're getting rejected then what our fail to ban rule does is it says anything that's been that has the phrase identified as spammer in it that's in the mail log block its server and that's what this host thing is and what this does is it goes and checks that mail log all the time and any time that message comes off it instantly blocks the server um, now I'm not going to get into too much detail about fail to ban and fail to SQL um, that's something you've got to get into yourself and you can find out more about it if you go to brinix.com and then go my projects intrusion detection system and then in here it tells you all about how you can set up your own intrusion detection system on your Linux server uh, the different software you need and how I set mine up and I've even um, supplied all my configuration files and uh, the files I made such as the web page I made to display this that uses Google Maps to show the map uses file to SQL to locate where the servers are located um, uses the Google Graphs API to draw all of these and it's not as difficult as it sounds if you're a um, Linux sysadmin uh, you should probably you'll probably understand it and go oh cool I'm gonna create one of those too so yep just thought I'd give you an update about how to create a honeypot for your intrusion detection system